August 5th. The crew is desperate. The fears of being discovered have grown with each day, and rescue seems no closer at hand. But all that is about to change. After days of searching, two young island scouts paddle towards shore. Evans sent us out to rescue Kennedy. One day, while Buke and I were checking out some wreckage, we came across two men. At first, we thought they were Japanese, and we ran away. It wasn't until we met up with the rest of the crew that we learned it was Captain Kennedy. As the men wait in the brush on Olasana Island, two natives appear. It takes a few moments, but finally they realize their good fortune. Their salvation has finally come. When we got to the island, Kennedy was worried. He wanted to send a message to Rendova, but he had no paper. So I told Aaron to climb a coconut tree. I husked the skin out. I thought this would do fine. Native knows position. He can pilot. Eleven alive. Need small boat. Kennedy. But how would we look after it while at sea? So I said I'll use it as a bail. And if I was met by the enemy, I'll scratch out the message and wait for my death. It's my orders. Ensign Lenny Tong also pens a message on a small scrap of paper. For Buku and Aaron, it was to be a 38-mile canoe trip. Ken, Ken, this is GSC. Do you copy over? Sending transmission now. 20 a.m. GSC. Echo to Ken. Delta Whiskey. Eleven Charlie, survivors. Mike, PT boat November. on Gross Island. Stop. WC, Have GSC. sent food and letter. Great news. Stop. Come here Commander, here. Commander PT base received a message just after yours from survivors by native. Stop. They gave their position and news that someone that. Upon hearing of the survivors, Evans dispatches more of his scouts. The crew, bearded, gaunt, half-starved and with festering wounds, feasts on yams, potatoes, and roast beef hash. It's the first real meal they've had in six days. But the men of PT-109 have pulled through. I think everybody was elated and couldn't be more pleased. They were found. Here was Lenny Tom and here was Barney Ross. and. Uh, Jack and you know three of the most admired fellas and all the great enlisted men they have on board and I think it was like uh, you know a miracle that it had taken place. With the meal completed Kennedy sets off to summon the rescue boats. When Kennedy writes home it's clear he hasn't lost much of his old spark. Dear folks, this is just a short note to tell you I am alive, and not kicking, in spite of any reports that you may happen to hear. It was believed otherwise for a few days, so reports or rumors may have gotten back to you. Fortunately, they misjudged the durability of a Kennedy, and I'm back at the base now, and I'm okay. As soon as possible, I shall try to give you the whole story. Much love to you all. Jack. Ever since the day when he rescued Kennedy, Aaron has waited to be reunited. The day has come. After the rescue, Kennedy promised he would meet us again. When he became president, he invited us to visit him. But when we got to the airport, we were met by a clerk who said we couldn't go. Bihuku and I spoke no English. My feelings went for bed. Sometime later, we heard Kennedy died. 
I sat down with his pizza and cried. Knowing he was dead, my sadness was great. I would never meet him. His promise would never come out. I still think of Kennedy. Uh, Max would like to introduce you to Aaron, one of the rescuers of your uncle, the President Chef Kennedy. This is Aaron. Hi, Aaron. So nice to see you. Thank you so much. Sixty years of waiting are over. <laughs> Is this your son here? Raymond Albert. Raymond Albert. And your name? Kennedy. John F. Kennedy. John F. Sorry. Kennedy? So yeah. old. <laughs> Come on. How old are you? Bizarro Mkobia. <laughs> About 80? 80 or 90, 80 or 90, that's what I thought. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's go. Max wants to meet the other rescuer. The two old scouts haven't seen each other for years. They remember their days as scouts for the Allies. I don't know. I don't know. Mama never tell me so. Papa would let me go. Max has brought a gift from the Kennedy family. This is a bust of Captain Kennedy. Captain Kennedy. I give it to you on behalf of my whole family. Yeah. Letter from Jack's last surviving brother, Edward. President Kennedy often spoke of the great courage of those who came to his aid and he never forgot you. Uh, not a day goes by that I don't think of him and miss him. And it means a great deal to know that my brother is still remembered with affection in the Solomon Islands. With my warmest wishes, uh, Ted Kennedy. If you can, you come back to see me, look at me, eh? I can't wait to come back. I want to bring my children back to meet you. Very glad. <laughs>